All right. You want to do this? Okay, then let's create a random number. You're going to go up to the plus button or right click in the hierarchy, create a game object, an empty game object. And we're going to rename that to be our random number manager. It's going to manage creating a random number. What? Then we're going to go to our project window and our assets and create a script so you can click the plus symbol again or right click in the project gray area and create C sharp script. Once you have that C sharp script, name it right away random number. Then we're going to go into back to our hierarchy and we're going to right click create UI and we're going to do text text mesh pro. This is the first time in your project. You'll need to click the import text mesh pro essentials. Close that out. When you're done, we're going to click the center, this rec transform anchor presets here. And we're going to hold shift and alt to set the pivot and the position so that it's centered. We can go ahead and type in here, maybe our random number. Maybe we'll make that bold, increase our font size. You can see that we might want to make our box a little bit bigger and then we can recenter that. We're going to change the alignment here to be centered and then also to center horizontally and vertically. So we got our number. So we might increase the font size to wherever we like, whatever our max number might be. Save, of course, control S to save your scene. You'll go to your project window here and double click your random number script to open that up in Visual Studio. And we'll start off with our random number is a whole number. We're just going to keep that. And so we'll use integer and we'll create our variable that we will store the random number. So we're storing our random number here. It'll only take whole numbers. Space that out. We don't need the start method, so we'll delete that. Now in our update method, which runs every frame, we want it to be looking for an input maybe so we can make this a little bit more interesting where we press any key and we create a random number. So we'll do if statement and we'll get our input dot any key down. So if we press any key down or we could use the other input system as well, but this keep it simple. And we want to generate a random number. So we're going to create a function that will do that. Uh, to A short way of doing this is we can just create our function now and call it. So we're going to do create random number. Now, this is we're calling a function that doesn't exist. We're saying, hey, run this function. And it says this doesn't exist. So what we can do is we can simply right click quick actions and we're going to say introduce uh, let's do extract method so when we do that so we can right click and quick actions and we can do generate method And when we do generate method, it'll create it down here. We can delete the instructions inside there. So this function create random number. We want it to create a random number. Now, if we do random dot range, which is going to give us an error right away because it says, whoa, you know, it doesn't know whether to use the unity engines random or system dot random. So we're just going to use the Unity engine. So we're going to go ahead and delete the system collections and the system. So that way it's just using the random dot range. And then the minimum is going to be one. And then we'll say a hundred. Now you'll notice if you 
read here the max inclusive previous documentation this was the max exclusive i don't know if they've changed that but it would exclude if we did 101 it would exclude 101 there we go yeah it says max exclusive now yes so it will not call 101 ever so it'll call 100 so 1 to 100 it will randomly pick a number but it will not ever pick 101 so 100 and 1 so now that we have the random dot range we're generating this number we want to actually assign that to our variable random number so that way we're generating a random number and assigning it to this value and we're running it when we press any key and we could serialize this to see it in the inspector see if that works but we're also going to display this in our unity engine ui how do we display our random number now that would be this text object so we need to access that via a variable and we need to get this text field this is a text mesh pro game object you can see the text mesh pro component and this is where our text goes so we have 999 and we want it to have our random number here for that so the way we do that we're going to open up our script so we needed to add our variable here now we have the typical data types, but in this case, the data type is going to be text mesh pro text because that is the type of game object that it is. And in order to do that, we're going to be using pre-written code that comes from the namespace using TM pro. That's our text mesh pro namespace. So when we add this in, we can actually access the data type and we're going to serialize this so you can see it and so that we can assign it as well. So in this case, it is TMP underscore text and we'll call this display number. So we'll save that and you can see in Unity here, the first thing that we need to do is take our game object that we're calling our random number manager once the script loads. We're going to drag that random number manager script onto it. And here you can see display number is the variable that we created and it is empty, none. So then we can drag our text TMP into that. So our text. And we should probably go ahead and rename that as well. Text is not very descriptive. So we can call this uh, display number display number text, maybe. So we know that's our, our text for the display number. We go back to our object here with the script on it. You can see it automatically updated the name and it knows this is a text mesh pro object only. So now we have our random number generation and we have our text variable, which is linked to this text game object. So now we need to put our random number into that part of the UI, that, that UI object, the text UI object. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab our display number variable and we're going to do dot text and this is as you can see here when we highlight it it tells you it's getting the text and then it will set whatever value for that text and that is literally the display field of the text mesh pro this is the text where it says 99 right now or it was 999 so all we have to do is say, hey, for that text, we want to assign the random number that we created, the random number variable, and it will give us an error, even if we put the semicolon, it says I can't convert an integer to a string because text is a string, 
this random number is an, a whole number, an integer. So we have a method that we can use. So we do dot to string. So this is a method that will convert the number to a string. Now, because we are calling this function, this method, we put parentheses after it to finish that off. So now we're taking our random number, we're converting it to a string, it runs that function, and then it assigns it to the text. And we can save this, let the script load, and then we can play test to test this out. We'll go, we don't even need to go to our console, but we can click our random number manager if we wanted to as well. But when we click play, you'll see it'll update in the inspector as well as in the game view. So if I click, there's 38 in both spots, 18. And there you go. We have our random number displaying in our UI.